just made me think about just everything we've been seeing from Shakur after um, his last fight versus Artunian. Artum, yeah. Artem Martunian, not a struggle pronouncing it, but trying, trying to not just do the cop out, you know. But anyway, <laughs> but you're a better man than me, I'll tell you that. <laughs> the core has been, you know, said he had some hand issues in the fight. Um, no reason to doubt him, right? No reason to doubt him saying he had issues with both hands, both hands were hurting. Man, but his Twitter fingers are not hurting, man, because this is <laughs> crashing out on Twitter nonstop, nonstop going at everybody. Went at um Mason Cam, say yo, y'all dudes don't want to see me in the hand. So when you see me, make sure you gripped up. And then that's where I kind of like draw the line and say, like, yo, is this going too far? You know, I always complain when Javante Davis does this when Javante was like, Yeah, man, we'll be at your front door. I'm like, bro, this is boxing. You guys are gonna box. There's no need to talk about that other stuff. So do you feel the same kind of outrage when you hear Shakur Stevenson say, Yo, when you see me, you better be gripped up? Yeah, and then especially with Jay Prince getting involved and, you know, Mason Cam responded, you know, they ain't back down. It's kind of like Shakur is showing me that he's more emotionally immature than I expected him to be. Mm -hmm. Not going to win that war, right? Like, <laughs> like Cam's a professional troll. If you go back and you know his history, and you Cam's a professional troll. Bro, he's a professional troll. Um... Bro, you, you, it's going to be an endless war. There's mm -hmm. going to be people that disagree with you. There's going to be people that's going to troll you. You can't just go at everyone just based off of how they feel about the situation. You know, got to pick. And, and and I get it. Maybe he's picking and choosing his battles, but it's like you're not going to win every battle. Just, you know, focus on what you need to focus on in the ring. You can share your dis, you know, discontent, but is it going to take a toll on you, right? Is it going to affect your performance in the future? Is it going to kind of put you in a direction where it's going to impact your relationship with your team, you know, those around you? Um, I'm not sure if this is who Corey Stevenson was mm -hmm. or he's turning to be when the interaction, I know you've seen the interaction with him and Bud, where Bud was trying to give him pointers like, hey, you know, you're not supposed to jab your way. Use your, you're supposed to let your hands go. Mm -hmm. And he had an excuse for every response Bud had. Right. Mm -hmm. Or even kind of how he was talking in the corner, right, to his coaches during the fight, mm -hmm. you know, like, oh, you know, giving them, you know, lip back and forth constantly. It seems like it's a trend. I'm not sure if this is part of his DNA and who he is or yeah. who he's always been or if this is something that grew with him over time. And yeah. I think it's being accelerated based off of, you know, Twitter because he's always on Twitter, which is yeah. crazy. So I think the latter, right? I think this is who he is. So I, there was a point where I was questioning, yo, is he just trying to play, um, to use a wrestling term, play heel, play the bad guy, kind of because he's seen it. In a sense, it worked for Ryan Garcia. If if the if the negative test didn't come out, like Ryan Garcia would still be on top of the world right now, right? Because he played this villain role. Then he went in there and just shut all the, the haters and naysayers up, right? So for a second, I thought Shakur was trying to do something similar. Now, nah, let me play the bad guy. You know what I mean? Well, except for, I'm not going to lie, Ryan seems off right now. I think it, no, no, that's, what, Ryan, that's what I'm saying. I think, yeah, I do think he was playing hell, but I think now it's more so yeah. like, uh, like, right. like if it would have just stopped after the fight and there was no more news to report after the fight, Ryan would have just been on top of the world. But True. everything else has just been like a spiral. But I'm, I thought Shakur for a second was trying to play that bad guy to get that attention and, you know, get that notoriety, kind of help build his name in a different sense. But right. like you said, when, when you see him going back and forth with his grandfather and Bud and guys was really close with, I can just tell, like, that's just naturally who he is because those are more natural settings. That's not me trying to put on a show for anybody. These are the people closest to me and I'm yeah. still doing the same thing. Like that's who he is. So mentally there's something there and don't get me wrong. Hell of a boxer, right? Hell of a boxer, but mentally, I think that's a little bit of chink in the armor. And you know what we always say with the biggest matchups, you know, just mentally, they're mentally draining. Just, you know, you're on high alert. And it's like if, if your mental can be shifted like that over, you know, simple things like someone trying to give you advice, you know, what happens when you're fighting? You know, and I'm, I'm not I'm not going to make any jokes today. Right. But what happens, let's say, when you're fighting Tank and he, like he's trying to walk you down aggressively, right? It's a lot of pressure, a lot of mental pressure, and someone's trying to give you pointers, you know, in between rounds, you just whatever, 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 you know what I'm saying? Now you have that bicker, you lose focus, all of a sudden you get hit with a shot that you shouldn't, or 
I'm not going to say you shouldn't get hit with, but you don't want to get hit with. You know what I'm saying? And it, it doesn't just have to be Tank. It could be Lomachenko. It could be somebody else. You know what I mean? But I'm just saying boxing is like chess. It's like chess. You know what I'm saying? Which is really mental. So for someone to show a chink in their mental arm, armor, I think that's big. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. So, yeah. like, well, so, so, and, 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 so, what do you think about you know the WBC ordering you know Zapata to fight Shakur next? Um, do you think Zapata is the one that will probably make it tough for Shakur Stevenson, and we'll start to see that chink, that mental chink, come out? I think on paper it seems that way. I don't know if in the ring it's going to happen though. But Zapata could punch, right? Um, and I've been casually watching him. I got to like kind of go in a little bit more and try to just see more of, you know, the variations of his style, but on paper, definitely he can make it difficult for him, put a lot of pressure on him, be aggressive, carries that heavy, you know, a heavy pop. So I think on paper, yes, I think in the ring, it may be a little bit different. Um, but it's a fight I would love to see. I'm glad it's ordered and I would love for them to make it because I think they can kind of answer questions for both, you know, can both Shakur fighters. hang in there with a guy with power? Is the Pater ready to go to the next level and fight a guy that's not just right in front of him? You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I, I agree. Yeah. Definitely would answer a lot of questions. You know, is the Pater the real deal? Yeah. Um, and Shakur Stevenson starting to falter. You know, maybe he's been overhyped up until this particular point in time, which I don't think is the case. I do think Shakur is a special fighter. I just think, you know, there are circumstances that kind of inhibited his performance and i do think that he just needs to show very soon the fighter he claims to be and i think what hurts him a lot of the times is um his predictions mm -hmm. right what he's gonna go out and do and then when he falls short then it's like come on bro you yeah. talking like this and you ain't really giving us half of what you're talking about so yeah i'm actually happy for the zapata fight because you know i i, I would have also welcomed the raymond Murataya fight but um, what we saw with Raymond versus Tevin Farmer, and Tevin Farmer is one of the slickest boxers out there, right? Until he kind of got gassed and Raymond was able to catch up to him, Raymond kind of had issues cutting off the ring and kind of getting his attack off on Tevin. And Tevin, Tevin is very defensive. Shakur is very defensive. But it's different, right? Shakur is yeah. mostly, mostly range, in and out of range. You know, I'm kind of at a distance where you can't reach me, and I'm going to just step back a lot of um, slip coming forward, you know what I mean? Tevin right. is a lot of head movement, all types of stuff, roles, just very, very slick, right? So I'm not saying the fights would look the same at all, but I'm just saying I think Raymond needs to kind of work on cutting the ring off and not extending so much energy to do it, which I'm not sure he did there. He was very poised in that fight, so I'm still, you know, happy with the performance, but I'm just saying that showed me that maybe – him and Shakur won't necessarily be the fight that we want. So I'm kind of happy to get the Zapata fight because I think Zapata is just going to go in there and try to, you know, knock him out. You know, obviously Zapata has boxing skills, but I think he's going to try to knock him out and he's going to force Shakur's hand or it's either he's going to force Shakur's hand and Shakur is going to box him or Shakur is going to do something similar to what we saw in the Edwin De La Santos fight. You know what I mean? Yeah, especially or even probably – I think Cepeda is gonna, like you said, force him to box and fight because I think he he's not gonna take a page out of De La Santos' book where he's gonna kind of be a little hesitant, you know, and really I think he's gonna go for it, like make it probably dirty, right? Like I mm -hmm. think that's probably your best course of action, just make it dirty and really go after him, even if he is trying to run away, just really cut up the ring, make him hug and fight through the clinch. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So I mean. So basically, for Shakur, what we want is, you know, we just want to see see fights. You know, I don't really care about all the Twitter stuff. You know, it's funny, haha. -ha, you know, people clowning each other. But, you know, when it, all the street stuff, I think, is unnecessary. Like you said, Jay Prince got involved. And he was saying, like, you know, I'll take all his fades for him. And <laughs> Kim and Mace, like, yo, bro, you're 60. You know, you can't be 60 trying to bang in the street. So, like, that, that you know, like I said, it's all funny. But I don't, it takes away from what I want to see, which is the boxing matches. You know what I mean? Now, there was a kind of maybe to wrap up the Shakur thing. There was a rumor out there that Loma may step aside oh, to let Shakur get the fight. And I guess that Loma would fight the winner of that. I've seen that rumor. I've seen now, that rumor. Do you like that order better with Shakur and Tank fighting now in the winner fight Loma? Or would you prefer Loma versus Tank now in the winner fight Shakur? It nah. would not make a difference to you. 
I like that order. I like Loma stepping away and then Shakur taking that tank fight. Because for me, I feel like Loma's going to be a tougher fight for Tank than Shakur would, in a yeah. sense. Unless Shakur is trying to play safe and really not trying to, I think then it could be a really boring fight. But um, if, if we're talking about engagement and actually boxing, I think just I think Loma is just a special case. Also, I'm a little biased because I feel like Loma deserves that break. I think, you know, from him collecting belts at 130, mm -hmm. not being undisputed there, going up to 135. Yeah, he lost to Teal, but, you know, he got robbed by Devin Haney mm -hmm. and had to come out the mount, come up the mountain, stop Cambosis, fantastic performance. You know, I think, you know, him stepping aside and then allowing those two to fight and then him fighting to kind of unify, I think that would be helpful instead of him kind of, because he's getting older, him taking two fights. Let the young bucks duke it out and then pause and then him into the fray afterwards. I think that would make some sense. Should he go fight the other champion who I'm forgetting his name right now, the other yeah. um, um, Ukrainian fighter? Yeah, the other Ukrainian too. Yeah, I think that'll probably, you know, fellow Ukrainians just getting it out the mud, you know, and then African-American fighters getting it out the mud and then the best yeah. of two. No, I, 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 I like that as well. I respect that because like you said, you know, Loma did collect three of the belts before um, ended up losing the T.O. Then... Um, after that, he wanted his rematch with Tio. Tio didn't didn't give him the rematch, but Loma was on a tear, right? Then he comes into the Haney fight for all four belts in the fight that you know we both think that Lomachenko won, so he didn't get there. So it's like, all right, now a third time where I gotta go. Let's say, boom, try to fight Tank for Tank's belt. Then have to, you know, I, I I agree with you. I just think because he's putting so much work in trying to collect the belts, I think it would be nice to see. You know him fight the other guy. I'm I'm gonna learn his name by the next time we make a video about this. Um, fight the other. I would assume Loma will win that, and then he fight the winner of Tank and Shakur for undisputed. I think that would be the best, just chain of events. I agree. Team. Yeah, hundred percent agree. Yeah. All right. So make sure you guys jump in the comment section. Tell us, you know, what do you think about Shakur crashing out on Twitter? Um, I feel like it's been like a week straight of him just going crazy on Twitter. Like, is it entertaining for you? You want him to stop. Um, and as far as Lomachenko stepping aside, would you prefer to see Loma fight Tank now or see Loma step aside and let Shakur and Tank settle their long, you know, feud right now? So make sure you jump in the comment section, like, and subscribe. Two cents short of a dollar. We got some other stuff coming real soon.